and the benefits of growth is a project one year on we are very proud to have started. Question number two, Amy Adams. The Honourable Amy. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he stand by all the government's actions and statements in relation to the New Zealand economy? The Mr. Honourable Grant Robertson. Mr. Speaker, yes, in the context in which they were made and undertaken. Did the Prime Minister discuss with him her concerns about the extension of regional fuel taxes to other regions? prior to her announcement in the House yesterday. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister and other ministers have discussed often over uh, this year uh, the question of the way in which we fund transport infrastructure around New Zealand. Um, I've been enjoyed being part of those discussions and indeed um, have spoken about them uh, in public previously. So what were the concerns the Prime Minister discussed with him about the extension of regional fuel taxes prior to yesterday. Well, Mr Speaker, what we've discussed is that there are many ways of funding transport infrastructure. In Auckland, the Auckland Council proposed and the government agreed to a regional fuel tax. I can give the member an example of when I was in Hamilton in February and I was asked about this and I made it quite clear that a fuel tax for Hamilton was not on the agenda. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, I listened very carefully and I had asked for some indication what the concern was about it being used in other regions. Uh, the Minister talked about transport funding and having ruled it out for Hamilton. I didn't hear anything where he uh, attempted to address the reason they had concerns about extending it to other regions. Well, I, I thought the Minister to see that there are alternative ways of funding it. Did the Prime Minister express those concerns to the Minister prior to the legislation being passed, which legislated for exactly the situation the Prime Minister ruled out yesterday. Mr Speaker, as I said, what this debate is about is how we fund transport infrastructure across New Zealand. The legislation says that in this term of government there will be no other regional fuel taxes. The Prime Minister has made absolutely clear that fact, um, and that's an important thing to do when the Leader of the Opposition is spreading false and fake news. Has the Prime Minister expressed concerns to him about any other aspects of the government's programme that might indicate that more backflips are coming? Oh, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is always urging ministers to move faster and further to correct the mistakes and the underfunding of the previous nine years. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Just to be clear, Minister, is it the government's position that despite the numerous calls for the fuel tax to be spread to other regions, we are staying staunch with our commitment to leave it just for Auckland. Uh, Mr Speaker, absolutely. I'm, I'm not entirely clear what the opposition stance is now on how they'll fund transport infrastructure, and we once again wonder uh, where the opposition's fiscal stance is. It's very hard to see today how they would fund transport infrastructure. Is the reason that the Prime Minister yesterday ruled out any new regional fuel taxes while she is Prime Minister, despite having just legislated for exactly that, because the government has now had to accept that it's the one fleecing New Zealand over power prices? Well, I, think, I think the member might have meant fuel prices rather than power prices, but Mr Speaker, no. The reason the Prime Minister did that was because it was time to clarify in response to the misinformation being spread by the Leader of the Opposition. Question number three, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Yeah, Mr Speaker, uh, 